With the conclusion of the visit by a high-profile Chinese minister to Nepal, the attention now shifts to Prime Minister Deuba's visit to the southern neighbour. With all the talks revolving around the geopolitical issues, the visit by Premier Deuba could not have come at a better time while the Himalayan nation battles its own border issues with India. Deoba's India visit is surely a keenly watched event by the political and diplomatic circle. However, back home, the foreign ministry is yet to fix agendas for the visit that begins in two days' time. Good morning, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. Nepal Oil Corporation seeks support of the Finance Ministry to purchase petroleum products, urges the government to implement an odd-even number system in vehicles. Premier Deuba's India visit provides an opportunity to amend strained relations and border disputes. The government yet to finalize the agenda of the three-day visit. Russia pledges to scale down military operations around Kyiv as the United States warns the threat is not over. Analysts fear Russian promise mostly covers areas where it is losing ground. And Nepal taking on Malaysia in today's match under the three-nation triangular T20 series. Weather might play sports sport as both nations look for second win. The Nepal Oil Corporation has urged the government to implement an odd-even number system in vehicles and to declare public holiday on Sunday owing to the inability to purchase oil resulted by the financial crisis. The corporation has sought support from the finance ministry citing lack of finances to purchase petroleum products and has warned of a potential fuel shortage. The corporation has also for the first time urged the government to reduce taxes like custom charges, value-added tax and infrastructure development tax on petrol by 15 rupees per litre and gas by 200 rupees. Petrol currently sells at 155 rupees per litre. However, the corporation has said it still bears a loss of 25 rupees per litre. Likewise, the corporation has said it bears a loss of 32 rupees per litre in diesel and 665 rupees per gas cylinder. The corporation's daily loss amounts to around 310 million rupees. The government has yet to finalize the list of agenda of Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deuba's upcoming visit to India. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs at a press conference yesterday informed that preparations for the three-day official visit to India that begins in two days' time had been expedited. However, agendas have yet to be finalized. The ministry is also yet to finalize the list of officials accompanying the Prime Minister. Premier Deuba is scheduled to meet his Indian counterpart, Narendra Modi, during his visit and virtually inaugurate the Janakpur Jayanagar Railway Service. On a different note, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has called the recent visit by Chinese Foreign Affairs Minister to Nepal a milestone. Likewise, the ministry informed that Premier Deuba will virtually address the BIMSTEC summit underway in Sri Lanka tomorrow. The Election Commission has called an all-party meeting on 5th of April to hold discussions regarding the implementation of the Code of Conduct. The Commission has called the meeting to discuss the issue to simplify the implementation of the Code of Conduct. The Commission has informed to finalize the day for the implementation of the Code of Conduct after gathering suggestions from various parties during the meeting. The Commission has prepared a final draft of the Code of Conduct. The local level election has been scheduled for 13th of May. Likewise, the registration of candidacy for the local polls is scheduled on 24th and 25th of April. In our public voice segment, today we have asked the local residents of several provinces that what they think should be done to increase the efficiency of provincial assemblies. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. <laughs> segment public pulse way text us with the opinion 
Public Pulse. Here's the question. What's your take on Nepal Oil Corporation's inability to import petroleum products? Your options are A. Impact of price rise, B. Burden of tax, and C. Incapable leadership. The voting is on. Type NAWS. Select your option A, B, or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Let's move on to sports update. Sports News. Host Nepal take on Malaysia in today's match under the three-nation triangular T20 series. Both the teams playing their second match will be looking for the second win at TU Grand. The match at TU Grand is scheduled for 12.30 noon kickoff. Both Malaysia and Nepal won against Papua New Guinea in their first match. Nepal had clinched a 15-run victory while Malaysia had registered an 8-run win yesterday. Nepal have a formidable record against Malaysia with 9 wickets victory and 69 runs win registered last year in the two matches they have played so far. Nepal and Malaysia, meanwhile, might have to battle bad weather with rains around that might play spoil sport. Before wrapping up, here's a look at the top stories one more time. Nepal Oil Corporation seeks support of the Finance Ministry to purchase petroleum products, urges the government to implement an odd-even number system in vehicles. Premier Dewa's India visit provides an opportunity to amend strained relations and border disputes. The government yet to finalise the agenda of the three-day visit. Russia pledges to scale down military operations around Kyiv as the United States warns the threat is not over. Analysts fear Russian promise mostly covers areas where it is losing ground. And Nepal taking on Malaysia in today's match under the three-nation triangular T20 series. Weather might play sports sport as both nations look for second win. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good day.